Okay, this is historic. We're going to thermal shock glass laminated to aluminum. Go ahead, Bobby. Wow. Looks like it's not cracking. That's amazing. You saw it here first. We're going to go from here, then onto a hot plate, and then back into drink. But um, based on what I see here, this is pretty durable lamination. You want to take it out, Bobby? Yeah. And then onto the hot plate. Okay, the glass plate and the aluminum are back up to temperature. I'd estimate about 150 C. And we're going to put it back into the uh, uh, bath. Go ahead, Bobby. Aluminum down. Uh oh. Did you hear a crack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that, that just might be the bond line. Because of the time. Well, I thought I saw it just yeah, split. I think it cracked. Oh well. Play the experiment. Yeah, plastic only takes one. Right, right. It survived the first shock, though. Okay, why don't you take it out and put it back on? Uh, play. Did it crack? Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. I think a little. Yeah. This is yeah. a hairline fracture. It appears that the, uh, you can see through the glass, but it appears that the toluene gets wicked into the center. This is glass laminated to the thick aluminum with FM 101. The camera's going to protect my face and the glass blows up. Oh! I heard a crack. There's a big CTE mismatch as well as a, as a temperature difference, so the strain on the grass, glass must be immense. We're almost out of liquid nitrogen. Crackling. Okay, we took the glass and aluminum laminate out of the liquid CO2, we put it on a 270 degree C hot plate. And uh, Bobby's afraid it's exploding, so I'm standing over there. But uh